welcome back to my channel. My name is Pika and I do fragrance reviews. So welcome back, ladies and gents. I have the video that I've always, always wanted to do because I absolutely love the note of orange blossom. Honestly, it's kind of been a journey for me because I've tried my best to try as many orange blossom scents as physically possible. There are still a few that I haven't tried and I think the ones that are like deemed as the most potent would be, um, there's one from All Pay de Fleur Orange, I think is that how you pronounce their company name and that one is Neroli Blanc Intense. I've not tried that one and unfortunately, I think they've stopped selling samples on their website. So that was like, why would you do that? I really want to sample this fragrance. And another one was Sintra by Memo. I've not tried that one. And the other one was Hobijant Le Orange, Le Orange, something like that. I'll put all of the, the names here. So as soon as I've tried those fragrances, I'll 100% maybe do a part two. I'm also thinking of doing a designer version of this because I noticed that these are all on the niche um, a little bit more expensive side, so I might do a designer video specifically all around orange blossom because I love the note that much. So the first one that I believe is an incredible orange blossom scent, it does have a lot of jasmine here as well, is of course Granada by Memo Paris. This is absolutely beautiful very heavy on both orange blossom and jasmine. This is a very heavy dose of floral. So if you're not into floral fragrances, this is not for you because this is the type of floral that is so natural smelling and so, um, how do I say it, realistic. It kind of puts off people who are not very much into smelling flowers if they were to walk outside, if they were to get maybe a bouquet of flowers at home, this smells exactly like that, but specifically with jasmine and orange blossom. The jasmine in here is not animalic or endolic in any way. It's very clean uh, as well as the orange blossom. It doesn't have a lot of sweetness. It has a very minimal amount of sweetness and it has a sourness in the top down to, I think there's pomegranate. So the way I describe this fragrance is very floral heavy, very realistic white florals, which can make people feel a bit like, whoa, it can make you feel a little bit nauseous if you're not very used to white florals. And it does have a tad of a sweetness and a tad of a sourness right in the top. But this in the summer would blossom, no pun intended, on your skin like nothing else. So if you've not tried this one, guys, try it. This is Granada by Memo Paris. The next one that I have is 100% my baby. This is one that I've wanted for so long. I can't even, <laughs> guys, I was emotional when I, when I bought this. It's on sale in House of Fraser in the UK, which is almost, I thought that it would be impossible to ever get it First of all, on the UK site, and second of all, discounted. Um, but I got it, and I was very, 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 very happy. What is it called? Le Pleu Beau Jeu de Ma Vie by Guerlain. This is an incredible orange blossom, sweet almond, and angelica scent. This is very heavy on the orange blossom. The orange blossom and the almond kind of are the most prominent notes in this fragrance. The almond has almost like a candied almond kind of sweetness to it, similar to Elisab Girl of Now, but much more mature and much more elegant. Uh, the orange blossom in here does give it a little bit more of a tanginess, a, a little bit more of a floral essence. But right in the top, what I noticed is that it does have slightly a very medicinal vibe. And I think that stands to the Angelica. It gives it a little bit of a greenness, a little bit of a medicinal vibe. And overall, it's quite powdery because if you can imagine the white florals mixed with the almond, it has this powdery, 
smooth, silky kind of feel. It's very reminiscent of lots of the Guerlain's that I've tried, uh, but this one is just... Wow, and the performance is pretty damn good. The only thing that I'm so peed about is that this atomizer is really not the one, you guys. It does have incredible performance, but because the sprays are not very great, you can't really get a great coating on your skin, if that makes sense. Not like the normal atomizers that you get. So this one, I do have to spray a lot, and I might be on the hunt to try and find if there is a spray that I can replace with this because it's a real shame that you can't get a lot out of this when you do spray it. But otherwise, it's amazing. So that is Le Plus Beau Jour de Ma Vie. All right, you guys. So the next one that I have is actually my favorite Parfums de Mali fragrance. This was my favorite out of all of their feminine line and it is Saffanad. Now, I know what you guys are gonna say, it does look quite battered, it's been through quite a few battles, quite a few wars, it's had its day. You can just see the tassel is messed up. Um, I've worn over half of this fragrance, that's how much I love it. And what does Saffanad smell like? So Saffanad is a very realistic orange blossom scent, but it does have a lot of sweetness in here. A bit of a lactonicness because there's sandalwood, I believe. So if you can imagine a, how would I describe this? It's almost like if you had um, Turkish Delight, but orange blossom Turkish Delight with a lot of um, icing sugar, and if you dunk that in like this milky thing, <laughs> that's essentially how this smells like. It's very beautiful. It does have a little bit of sharpness right in the beginning, almost like it, it has a bit of greenness in there, probably from the orange blossom. But this is incredible. I mean, you can already see how much I've worn it of it. So I don't really have to give it that much justice. But that is Saffronad by Parfums de Mali. So, of course, I've left my best till last. And this I've not seen not one person on YouTube talk about. I was introduced by a lovely guy called Francis in Selfridges to this fragrance. And honestly, I could not thank him enough. This is my favorite of the orange blossom scents. It is May Roots by Loewe. This is from the Un Passio Pour Madrid line. This has in the top grapefruit and passion fruit from what I can remember. This has a humongous overdose on orange blossom and then it sits in this creamy bed of very clean jasmine and then goes into an ambery base. This has a lot of sweetness, a lot of fruitiness, and of course, a huge overdose on orange blossom. This is so incredible, I can't even put into words. It does really pack a punch. It's quite, um, quite deep for an orange blossom fruity scent, I think, for, in my opinion, but it does have a slight soapiness to it, probably from the jasmine. So if you don't like slightly soapy scents, this is not for you, but it's so incredible. It's sweet. It's syrupy, it's very bright, it's a very, very bright fragrance. This in the summer would kill anyone. It'd just be so intoxicating that no, everyone wouldn't be able to leave you alone. That's what I mean. I have not tried this in the summer, but I cannot wait. So that is Mayrit by Loewe. All right, my loves, that was it for this video. All of the best orange blossom scents in my collection. I might do a part two to this video, as I said. Um, I might do a designer version. I might do a part two where I introduce you guys to other orange blossom scents. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Give it a like, thumbs up, all of that jazz, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.